Hey, welcome folks, Bob here from bobsplumbingvideos.com, and like most of you, you probably own a multi-tool. This is my fine first-generation multi-tool. I love this tool. I use this when I can't get my sawzall into certain spots or I want to make some finesse cuts. What I don't love, frankly, is the price of the replacement blades. The first time I went to get blades for this puppy, I got sticker shock. So I set out on a mission to find a less expensive alternative. I started searching around the internet. I stumbled upon the Amazon site and I found a company that had over 200 positive reviews about their blades. So actually I reached out to the company and they were gracious enough to send me two of their kits. So I want to mention right up front that they did send me these kits. I didn't pay for these blades. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bench and we're going to see how these blades perform. We're going to cut some wood. We're going to cut some steel. We're going to see what happens. You can make your own decision. And that's what this video is all about. So stick around. All right, so here we are down on the bench, and as I was mentioning, I was looking for an alternative to the very expensive original equipment blades, for instance, with my uh, first-generation fine multi-tool. Uh, I love the tool, but you know, it came time to buy replacement blades. I was like, got shell shock. I got sticker shock. So I said, I got I to gotta see if I can find an alternative. So I started searching. I went around and naturally, like a lot of us do, I was clicking around the internet and I stumbled on the Amazon site and I came across uh, the, these blades here, these multi-tool blades from a company called Riker Hardware. Now, they make two kits. Um, this is a 15-piece oscillating multi-tool saw blade set. Uh, and you have some wood and metal cutting blades in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these babies open and then we're going to go over to the vise there and I'm going to show you how these things perform. You know, I'm hoping they're going to fit in my multi-tool. And um, although they, they claim, I'm going to take the other um, kit up here. Now this kit is a bimetal kit. This These blades will cut um, metal. And... If you can see on the packaging here, they give examples of all the manufacturers. And what I'll do is uh, I'll just verbally read them to you. They claim that these blades will fit DeWalt, Fine, the Works Sony Crafter, the Rockwell Sony Crafter, Porta Cable Original, Porta Cable New, Craftsman, Bosch Multimax. The Makita line of oscillating tools, the Milwaukee line, the Rigid line, as well as Chicago Electric. Now, I have an original fine, an original first generation fine multi tool, and I'm going to pop this packaging open, and hopefully, they're going to fit. Then, we're going to jump over to the vise. We're going to get some wood, we're going to get some metal, and we're going to see what these puppies can do. So, stand by. While I set up my tool, open up these blades, and uh, hopefully we'll see what they can do. And uh, I'm very optimistic that they're going to do a good job and save me some money. So I will see you over at the vice. All right, guys, before we do head over to the vice, I wanted to show you what blades come in each kit. Now, this first kit here is the... 15 piece oscillating multi-tool saw blade set and there are five different versions three blades of each and i'm going to bring each one up individually so first one we have is this semicircular wood and drywall cutting blade and these make nice holes especially if you're going to install electrical boxes get three pieces you get three pieces of this wide blade it's a wide fine tooth blade You get three pieces of this rather, uh, it's a coarse tooth blade, cuts wood and plastic. You also get three pieces of a, a fine tooth version of a wooden plastic blade. And finally, in this kit, you have a, a, a wood and bimetal blade, wood and metal blade, fine tooth blade. And that's this kit. So let me slide this out of the way and I'll show you what's included in the next kit. 
So in the next kit, and let me hold on to this because I actually cut it open and I don't want to drop all the blades out, but we may have to do that. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. In this kit, which is the 10-piece bimetal oscillating multi-tool blade set, you get 10 blades, 10 bimetal blades, which cut metal and wood. So now that we got that out of the way, guys, let's take these blades over to the vise and we'll see what these can do. And my expectations are high and I have full faith that they will get the job done. So uh, let's proceed with the task at hand.
So there you go guys I thought these blades did a real good job on the wood I thought they did a real good job on the light gauge steel I thought they struggled a little bit on the three head rod but truth be told for three head rod I probably would use my sawzall now again when I went to buy blades for this machine originally I got sticker shock so I set out on a mission for a less expensive alternative I stumbled upon Amazon I found this company they had over 200 positive reviews what I would encourage you to do is go there visit the site Read the reviews and decide for yourself. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. Now, I won't be able to tell long term how they perform, but I'm going to put them in my toolbox and I'm going to start using them on a daily basis. One thing to keep in mind, guys, is this. When you buy blades, uh, you have to have expectations as to what they can do. I know a lot of guys will put these blades in and they'll try to cut through things that they weren't meant to cut through, thereby they give them a bad review, which is really not fair. So anyway, I'm very happy with their performance. I encourage you to go check them out. And I want to thank you for stopping by the channel. So what machines are you guys using? What blades are you guys using? I'd love to hear that. Leave your comments down below. So listen, I'm glad you stopped by to watch this video. I know I haven't put up content in a while, but you know what, folks? I got a lot of new content recorded, which is going to be coming your way. So stand by, stay well, and as always, happy plumbing.